There are some 90 whale species in the world, but it is the North Atlantic right whale that is most endangered. Their struggle for survival has become the subject of a new award-winning documentary, Last of the Right Whales. Let's welcome its creator, filmmaker, Nadine Pequeniza. Great to have you. Hi, thank you for having me. What was it about the right whale that struck you and that you wanted to do a documentary about them? It's a fact that there are so few, as you mentioned, but also the number of deaths that we've had in recent years. So in 2017, we lost 17 whales, 12 of them in Canadian waters. And then in 2019, we lost another 10. So while I was making this film, there were actually 34 whales that died. That's more than 10% of the population. And when you have a critically endangered animal, that's a lot. It certainly is. What is causing such a rapid decline in their numbers? Well, we are actually causing those deaths, unintentionally killing them by entangling them in fishing gear and hitting them with vessels and boats from any size, from you know a small fishing vessel up to big container ships. Goodness. I also understand that when we once thought that oil was a factor in their health, that it's plastic that has been killing them? That's never been identified as a direct cause, but certainly plastics in the oceans are a problem for all marine mammals because it ends up in their digestive tracts. They swallow it, and obviously that's not good for their health. Now, when you say, how many are there in the world right now? 336 was the last estimate, and that came out in October of last year. 336 thereabouts, uh, within just several years, about 34 plus died, but it doesn't sound like there were that many to begin with. So when did the, the endangered part of this really begin? Because it sounds like their, neighbor, their numbers were dwindling well before the 2000s. Well, they've been close to extinction uh, a number of times. Uh, mainly because of whaling. So they were almost hunted to extinction. And in 1935, it was made illegal to whale or to hunt this species. And at that time, they were thought to be around 100 left. Mm. And scientists actually thought that they had gone, you know, that they would not recover. But since we stopped whaling, they have recovered and have actually uh, risen to over 500. Oh, wow. And it's only in the last 10 years that we've lost those gains, and largely because we had protection measures in place, so vessel slowdowns and closures of certain fishing areas while the whales were present in the waters. But now, because of climate change, their distribution is changing, and so it's difficult to know where they're going to be. So a lot of times those protection measures aren't in place when they need to be. Mm. But those protection measures actually made your job much more difficult. Tell us a bit about the filmmaking process of following these whales. Yeah, well, there's a number of things, a number of challenges. One is the fact that there's so few of them. Two is they're critically endangered, so there are protection measures. You're not supposed to get within 500 yards of them in the United mm. States and 100 meters in Canadian waters. So you need special permits, federal permits, in order to do that. And then once you have the access, you have to find the whales. You need good conditions. And of course, you can't dive with these whales because they're critically endangered. So we were filming largely with aerial drones. And um, to use those drones and to get pictures that really show you the magnificence of these animals, you need to find them at the surface. And so we were looking for particular times when they spend a lot of time at surface. And that's with a mom-calf pair or feeding. They'll do a particular behavior called skim feeding. Mm. And that happens in Cape Cod Bay. And then also surface active groups. You know, you can get dozens of whales. Uh, it looks like they're playing together, you know, rolling around, tumbling. Yeah. Uh, they'll be rubbing each other with their pectoral fins. It's really quite something to see. They are magnificent mm -hmm. creatures indeed. And South Carolina is right along the path of their migration. You say that they're traveling a bit farther north. There's also the Pacific right whale as well. Is that one is equally endangered? More so. There's a, an expected 40 of those uh, types of whales left in the world. Wow. And uh, they are different species, so there's three. There's the southern right whales, the North Atlantic, and the North Pacific right whale. Mm, all right. Well, what do you hope that filmgoers hope to learn by this film and, and 
your continued work in their in their preservation, their survival? Well, I'm hoping they come to love this whale. You know, most people have never seen a North Atlantic right whale because there are so few and the protection yeah. measures are in place. So it's not the humpback, uh, but they're these are really extraordinary animals. So I hope people get a view of them, they learn about them, and they realize that there are ways to protect them. One of the people profiled in the film is a fisherman who's using a new type of gear that removes the vertical line in the water, which oh. is the real risk for these whales. Oh, fascinating. Well, The Last of the Right Whales, it makes its South Carolina premiere at the Terrace Theater on Maybank Highway. This is happening Wednesday, March 16th from 7 to 9. I want to thank you so much, Nadine, for joining us and for your work. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're back after this.